If I told you that an alien intelligence is in a spaceship that's heading to, span to planet Earth to change everything, would you ask me and say, when are they arriving? And if I told you it was 2035, you'd go like, okay, let's go back to tennis. Would you? This is the situation we're in. I'm telling you, there is an alien intelligence already on planet Earth, already smarter than, uh, than Elon Musk or as smart, and about to be smarter than all of us. Does it make any difference when it will arrive? The reason we are so confused about AI is because of science fiction movies. It's because whenever we think about AI, whenever the news media reports about AI, they talk to us about that existential problem where you know, a, a Robocop or something will come from the future to kill all of us. While I tell you that this is a possibility, there are more existential problems that are upon us already. They're not going to happen next year. They've already happened. You're just not discussing them. That deserve your attention much earlier. And that the dilution of the information that's given to us by the media by focusing on the big headline, the clickbait of we're all going to die, AI is going to end humanity, is taking your attention away from what matters. And here is what matters. If you ask me, there are four issues that are really important to you today. One is the redefinition of job business, jobs business and purpose. If you have been a winner in your business, it has been because you hired the smartest people to be your team. In a couple of years' time or a couple of months' time, depending on which business you're in, the smartest person in your business is going to be a machine. Are you hiring that machine? And what happens when you replace the one that you, the person, the human that you have with that machine? What happens to that human's career? The second is what I call the concentration of wealth and power. Don't lie to yourself. We've always lived in a world of kings and peasants. There would be a piece of land where the farmer would sow the seed and take care of the farm and eventually get the harvest and the king would make, the landlord would make the money. The person that owned the automation was the one that always made the money. Who owns the automation? Open AI, Chat GPT, or, you know, Bard and Google, Microsoft. The current automation, the digital seeds will be all of us sitting there putting things in prompts while the actual automation of the king is not with you at all. Problem two. Problem three is what I call the end of the truth. If you're not aware of that, maybe you shouldn't be concerned because you don't care about the truth anyway. But the truth is our definition of beauty has been completely redefined because every woman for many, many years in our lifetime has competed with plastic surgery. Now it's competing with the impossible of AI-generated models. Go and search for hashtag AI model and you'll see that it's becoming impossible to compete. There has been, without mentioning names so that I don't promote it too much, one in, uh, Instagram influencer that created an AI clone of herself that made $72,000 in the first week just flirting with people for a dollar a minute. Think about that. Think about the changes to our society that happen when the truth disappears. Most of the stream of information that you get from the internet every day is driven by AI. Are you ready for that? Where is the truth? How can we make sure that there is a truth? And then finally, of course, you know, I say that with, without scaring anyone too much, there was an arms race to creating the first nuclear bomb between the two sides of the war. The one that created the bomb used it. Remember that. The ones that will break the code on superintelligence will completely stop the rest of us from making any further advancements. Be aware of that. Very gloomy picture, Mo. Come on. This is the end of the day. I told you that the next big moment in the future of our planet is known as the moment of singularity. A moment of unknown. Unknown why? because there is absolutely nothing inherently wrong with intelligence. Do you understand that? Intelligence is why we're here together today, not in the jungle finding some, fighting some kind of a beast that's trying to eat us. Intelligence is what got us here. There's absolutely nothing inherently more, uh, wrong with intelligence. An abundance, uh, abundance of intelligence would solve all problems. With enough intelligence, we can solve climate change. With enough intelligence, we can pro prolong human lives. With enough intelligence, end of jobs would be an amazing thing because, by the way, we humans were not made for jobs anyway. Right? The, uh, jobs are an invention that's 120 years old. Maybe it's all about getting together and connecting as humans and finding each other and contemplating and reflecting on things that matter, not going to, the, to work every morning. Maybe. There's nothing inherently wrong with intelligence. There is a lot inherently wrong with human greed.